To make your joint pinch pot animal, you're going to need two pieces of clay. We cut these earlier when we cut our slab into four pieces. Take out from your storage bag two of the squares, and on each square, you are going to cut a little bit off. This is going to be for all the details that you're going to add to your animal. You want to cut off a little bit from each block and you want to make sure that your blocks are the same size and weight or similar size and weight. So take the little bit of extra clay that you cut off your blocks and put it in your Ziploc bag so it stays fresh and you're going to use these two blocks to make your two pinch pots. Remember, you want to start with two nice smooth balls of clay to make your pinch pots. Now, when you have two pinch pots, you want to make sure that the openings are the same size and they match up. To join these two, you have to score and slip around the opening. Now, if you watch the preview videos for the fish, she uses a method called scratch and attach. And she uses a toothbrush instead of a needle tool. If you have an old toothbrush, you're welcome to try this method. Otherwise, we're gonna use our needle tool to score around both lips. Now we need to add slip. I've used my brush and I have got some slip from my slip bag. And I'm adding slip all around my pitch pots. And you need to do this both of your pinch pots need slip. Once you've added slip to both of them, go ahead and score roughly one more time. This works the slip down into the cracks. Now we have scored and slipped. Now we are going to need to squish these two together. So we're going to line up the openings and then we are going to press and as we press we should see a little bit of slip squishing out. Want to be real gentle so it doesn't collapse. Gently squish it together. Now we have a little bit of a seam, so we are going to add a coil. Remember the extra clay that we cut off? We're going to take that piece and cut it in half. Make sure to wrap up your scrap clay. We're going to turn this into a coil. I'm getting my hands wet from my little cup of water and I'm going to squeeze this small piece out to start my coil. Now I'm going to roll it out on my table. Now I rolled this one out so it was even skinnier than our last one. This one is going to be even 
a little bit thinner than my finger, just a little bit thicker than my pencil, about the same size as my pencil. Now I'm gonna take this coil and I'm gonna just squish it and flatten it slightly. This is going to be the Band-Aid around that seam in my clay. Now to join this to my two pinch pots to heal up this seam, I'm gonna have to score it. So after I flatten it and I turn it over and I flatten it a little bit more, now I'm gonna score all the way down. So now I've scored all the way down. And now I have to add slip. And I'm going to score one more time. Now that I've scored my coil, now I'm going to have to score all the way around the seam. Now I'm going to score over the seam in my usual X pattern. And I want to score all the way around the seam. Now I've scored all the way around my two pinch pots. Sometimes I like to call it my egg. I've scored all the way around the seam of the egg or the potato shape. And now I need to add slip. And you need to add slip all the way around. Now I've added slip all the way around my egg. This one really looks like an egg. Now that I've added slip to both my coil and my egg, now I'm going to take the coil and I am going to put it over top of the seam. Putting scored edges together. It's okay if my coil broke, that's all right. I'm just gonna press it back on. So now my egg has a Band-Aid on it all the way around. Now I'm going to smooth the coil into the egg. I like to use the wooden angle tool. This is called a wooden angle tool because of this angle. And you're gonna smooth the coil into the egg gently so you're not crushing the egg and you're going to smooth it together all the way around the egg. All right, now my coil is smoothed into my egg all the way around. The next step is going to be to refine my egg. In this video, we're gonna talk about refinement. We've made our joint pinch pot our two pinch pots joined together, and we made this egg shape. But now we want to smooth it and refine it. I wanna show you a few tools. So far, you've been introduced to the wooden angle tool. This tool is very helpful for smoothing together edges. It's pointed enough, you can use it to score with, and we can use it to scrape things smooth. This is the wooden angle tool. This tool is called a rib. 
R I B. This is our wooden rib and we use it to scrape things flat. And we have this tool. This tool is called a metal rib. Sometimes it's referred to as a kidney because it's shaped like a kidney bean. And we also have our sponge. These tools are going to be very helpful in refining your pinch pot. The first tool to use when refining your clay is just your fingers. I'm going to smooth out any bumps or lines to begin with. Now, if you have a very deep crack, and it's not easily smoothed over, you can take your needle tool and lightly score over the crack, add a little bit of slip, and then use your wooden angle tool to smooth it together. That's how you can get rid of cracks that are a little bit deeper. I'm just going to use my thumb to smooth over this piece. All right, you may want to roll it on the table, but be careful, this can really dry out your clay. But rolling it on the table can help it help even out and flatten out the shape so it's a little more even all the way around. I'm pressing very, very gently. I kind of got a big crack there. So I'm going to smooth it out. Now I can also use my wooden rim and that helps me get a really smooth and refined surface by gently scraping over the bumps. This is how we can really get rid of those finger bumps. Also, if you gently tap the tool, this can help get rid of finger bumps as well. But be very gentle. So now I have smoothed out the cracks here. I'm going to use a sponge that's just very, very slightly damp. And I'm going to further refine the surface. Before you start adding your personality and details of your animal, you want to make sure that your surface is completely refined. And you want to do this all the way around your egg. You can also use your middle metal rib and curve it in your fingers and scrape it over the surface of your piece to really refine it. As you are working to refine your piece, especially if you're using the metal rib or the sponge, you will notice these little flecks in your clay. And sometimes your tool will grab one of these flecks and pull a line down your clay. These flecks are called grog, and they're added to your clay to make it a little bit easier to work with so it dries slower and it doesn't shrink as much. So the grog is normal. Those little white flecks, they almost look like sand. That's normal. You're not going to smooth that out. Now, this is what a refined joint pinch pot or a refined egg looks like. No finger bumps, no cracks, and it's smoothed out and even all the way around. Now, this takes several minutes to accomplish, so you're not going to accomplish this instantly. Give yourself a good 45 minutes to make your piece as refined as this. So this is going to be your base for your animal.